So the Master of Engineering degree in Engineering Law and Policy, referred to as MELP, is an advanced professional program. There's a strong focus on emerging technologies and understanding their regulatory and policy framework. We talk about how government and how industry and also how um, academia can work together to build a supportive environment so that we can be more creative together as a society. The degree has three core areas. The first is the technical depth, which is in system thinking. Then there's an area in the regulatory and legal framework, and then in global policy. Speaking as a computer science major, um, I'm always looking towards, you know, the cutting edge. If you want to have the extra push, the extra thing that gets you hired, it would be to do this master's program to show your employees that, you know, you know the ethics behind what you're doing. As an engineer who works with things like additive manufacturing and virtual reality, a lot of these technologies are new and emerging. Um, how will people react to it? How do I talk to policymakers? How do I communicate with them the necessity behind it? the benefits behind it, but also the contingencies that need to be in place. Success in your future career, whatever that may be, does require you to be well-rounded. And a master's program like this gives you so many opportunities to really round out the technical skill set and provide the, the social and the, the policy context that I think is really advantageous to employers. What MELP can offer to professionals is first of all, the ability to leverage the expertise they already have. But on top of that, and I would say even more importantly, is that MELP can offer you a new perspective. The degree has a component which is quite interdisciplinary, and this makes it innovative. And that is that we created two courses where we want the engineering or technologists to be interacting with the law students and the policy students. Learning about the regulatory and law side of engineering was one of the best decisions I've made and it's made a significant impact on my career for no matter what type of engineering you go into, law and policy will always affect it in some way. It's not just a bubble that you live in being an engineer. You will start needing to explore these landscapes and avenues um, to become a better engineer, a more refined engineer, to become a more refined scientist. If you want your technology to be as effective as possible in the way that you intend for it to be, you can't only think about the tech, you have to think about the social interactions that your tech has in the world.